Alan Gaming here with another Destiny video. In today's video, we will be showcasing and reviewing the exotic Telesto fusion rifle. Vestiges of the Queen's Harbingers yet linger among Saturn's moons. We will be reviewing the shaders later on. Unplanned reprieve. Fusion projectiles attach and detonate with a delayed void blast. Smart drift control. Predictable and controllable recoil penalty to range. CQB ballistics. Greatly re reduced it recoil significantly significant penalty to range. Smooth ballistics. Increased recoil and boost to range. Battle runner. Kills with this weapon. Grant a brief boost to the sprint stop speed. Lightweight. When held, this weapon grants plus two character agility. Enhanced battery. Increases magazine size. Flared magwell. Reload this weapon even faster. Arbinger Spark. Multi kills with this weapon spawn orbs for your allies. Okay, in just a moment we will be showcasing and reviewing the shaders. This is the regular shader. I have no shader equipped at this moment. This is Queen's Command, the shader that you get out of a package from winning matches or other things in uh, just events. And now we have Lingering Vestige. I will be using this during most of the video. be using this weapon in PvE. Um, this weapon in PvE is a total beast in my my opinion. I love this weapon for PvE, especially when there's a lot of enemies. When there's a lot of enemies, it mows through them, and especially when you get two kills, it spawns orbs. We'll be viewing this in just a moment here. In the meantime, do not touch the lasers, and watch my back. Splicers have a laser grid blocking the way. I should be able to disable it. In the meantime, do not touch the lasers and watch my phone. I will now be using this in PvP. Um, it is also great for uh, player vs player opportunities. It moves through them, great of all. Well, most of all, it sticks to enemies, charges up, and explodes. You'll be seeing this in just a moment as well. It is a total.
Guardian down. Revive your team. <laughs> Round. Most people think that there's a special way to get to Lusto. Unfortunately, I've tried. The only way you can get to Lusto is from a secondary enemy or secondary exotic engram drop, which. The highest chance of getting it is actually at the tower. Most people think it's at the reef, which it probably should be, but it's not. I'm sorry to tell you that. But it's proven that most players that get this weapon get it at the tower. One final push and victory is yours. Thank you guys for watching my video. I really hope you enjoyed this. Please like or subscribe. That would help out my channel a lot. I'm also very sorry about the audio. I've got something screwy with my mic, and I am very sorry. I hope that this video helped you out a lot, and I'll see you next time on Silent Gaming.